Income producing activities. Income producing activities. What is this? This is a simple formula. And when you do this right, your days are no longer random. Your days now have order. When your days have order, you have predictability. Even when things go out of control, there's highs and lows, you are not affected. You are in stillness because you know that I'm clear how to remedy the situation. I'm in control of my numbers. I can impact my quality and quantity. I know exactly what to do. I know what not to do. I know what to stop doing. Okay, so when you focus and you do the things that count, okay, what I call the needle movers, okay, the needle movers, you stop wasting time, you stop going around in circles, and you get to the point, and you make money. You do the things that directly contribute to you making money, and then with that money, whatever things you want to do with that extra money and time freedom that's up to you okay so the discipline and the structure that we are building together now it's not meant to cage you okay the irony is that when you have that discipline and that structure and you're able to produce income consistently because you can focus you have order you know what to do the irony is now that you're gonna have more time and more freedom so, what is my definition of an income-producing activity? This is a very simple definition. In setting yourself up for success, that module, we covered your Google Calendar where we will establish balanced time blocks, right? And then in the module about leaving your 9 to 5, when you need to have a strategy to map out all your targets so that you know how you can progressively and securely leave your nine to five, we establish specific numbers, right? Clear targets. So combined, if you know exactly at what time and what place you should be doing what activity in order to fulfill what number, and these are very doable numbers, and therefore these are very achievable things, What's going to happen is at the end of the month, you will always see money coming in. A lot of times when you see closes closing consistently, it's not luck, you know, and it's not magic. It's there are a series of things that they have been doing right and they don't just do it right for one day, one week. They are doing it consistently. It's just that we don't see the back end of their process. Okay, but what if you could? And what if you knew how to do it? And what if you actually did it consistently? I mean, if you fulfill that equation, would you still experience the fear? If you could fulfill this equation and achieve all your numbers based on your income goals and you are present for every time block and you're not tired, you're not burnt out, you're not procrastinating because you have balanced and you are clear on your why and you are consistently rejuvenated then will you still want to be an employee would you still experience doubt isn't the reason people run in fear to a job isn't the real reason they are unable to build something like this for themselves i mean whether you know it's an entrepreneur or remote closing or even copywriting or drop shipping like anything any independent project that you want to start not as an employee but for yourself isn't this what we all want also if you could fulfill this equation would you still do these things such as what the average closer does Go, and I'm sure you see this yourself, right? They go to all the Facebook groups. They post, 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 post. And on their profile, they also post, 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 post. They update their cover photo every hour or two. And, and quantity is not a problem for them. It's just that it's also not the solution. Because despite them 
going to all the groups and commenting on all the posts and posting all the stuff, their content is superficial. And the business owners can tell, right? It's lacking substance. I mean, how many times can you ask those one-liner, you know, you know, the big one-liner, the conversation starter type? How many times can you do it? How many times can you, you know, comment, comment, comment? Sooner or later, you have to show substance, right? So if you don't have the substance, does quantity compensate for that? You tell me. Does quantity, all this, does it compensate for a lack of clarity and understanding so if you don't have the clarity and understanding if a closer don't have the substance and then we send dms we try to network we try to and this is the worst okay <laughs> let me tell you this when i don't know who is teaching this but when you go to a business owner and you try to add value to them or you tell them that you want to add value to them they can tell and if the value itself i mean if there is a substance that's great but if the value has no substance you know what that is that is harassment so because of this some closers they said hey the, the influencers are not adding me back or the influencers are unfriending me or they are ghosting me or they are blocking me it's because this thing was done wrongly that there's no value in the ad value okay so if there's no substance then the dms the networking and even if we send a video or whatever no substance means no substance and there's no way we can compensate for no substance i hope i'm clear about this okay this one i don't need to say okay i receive so many of this you know closest messaging me or other business owners and the first thing they send is a want or a need or they are taking or they are asking for something they're asking for an opportunity they're asking for free coaching they're asking for role play they are asking okay how is this value how is this value no don't do this okay so and I can tell a lot of them are very motivated, especially their first one, three months, right? They become this energizer bunny and they have very high levels of energy. They're trying to be high vibe and all that kind of thing. And then a few months later, they burn out. We don't see them ever again. Some of them, they role play, but they only role play with people as green as them. So we don't know who is guiding who, right? We don't know whose theory is right. And then both end up either getting equally confused or, you know, both don't end up progressing. And then we have some closers. They like to attend weekly things, right? For motivation or I don't know what, what they do. But basically they're doing all these calls, but then they are not focusing on the needle movers. You know, they are not implementing the things that count so they end up joining teams but they are unqualified and then when it's unqualified they are not ready for a closer the closers don't know how to say no they don't know how to quit because they are afraid hey if i quit i might not find a better opportunity so let me stay here first and then they continue to stay in there and then they get told to wait and then they get told to be patient and then there's still no activity and then six months pass one year pass and they are still inside this team why would we do that you know why it's because a lot of closers don't actually have anyone that they can shadow when i say anyone i mean someone that started with nothing with zero experience and went on to close remotely, full-time, successfully, securely, consistently, full-time, remotely. Only this person can actually tell you how it's done. Because if you have no one to guide you, and then you only have theory, you only have videos, you only have motivation, how do you learn? How do, you know, every athlete or every intern right we need every apprentice we need someone to shadow because there 
are so many things we cannot learn from theory and videos. A lot of things we need to learn on the job, right? A lot of things we need to learn from failure. And, and failing is okay. It's that when we have those experiences, what should I do next time? What can I improve? If we don't go through this process, how to advance? So these closers, they, they go through this despite knowing it's not working. But I was there myself. And if we don't know what to do, what can we do? We just continue to try our luck and invest thousands and thousands in programs that are diluted, impractical. The coach say one thing, but they do another thing. They are incongruent. So we get stuck, we get frustrated. And in three to six months, we fade out and we quit. You have to really be careful and prevent yourself from going down this path. It is not a pretty path. Closers who are able to consistently get four, five figure months, obviously they are doing something right, right? One thing they all have, if you ask them about their strategy and their numbers, they don't know all the how, okay? No one knows all the how. But our numbers are clearly mapped out. There's no guesswork. Okay, I covered this in the previous modules, right? The specific numbers, the schedule, okay, and together they form your strategy. This is clearly mapped out. It's specific. It's not a wish. It's not ambiguous. It's clear. When they make decisions, it's strong and it's fast. You can just feel the, the power from the choices they make, even when they don't know everything, even when they have fear. This is a winner's quality. I don't know how to teach this, but you have to close yourself to have this. Okay, It's a muscle that you can build Okay, and eventually it becomes a habit. When they execute, I can see them do, and it's not based on really the quantity, you know. It's based on their clarity and their understanding. And when you have the quality, the quantity will always follow. Okay. They are able, I don't know how, like some of my best students, I just teach them what I do and they are able to go on their own. And they actually outdo me when I was starting out. They're able to get interviews all the time. Okay. Because their brand is optimized because whatever they do, whether they post, how they express themselves, how they articulate themselves, it always contains the clarity and understanding, which is the substance we want, not experience. Experience is useless if we don't have the clarity and understanding. They are able to say no. When a team is not ready for a closer, they join and they realize that, oh, you're not ready for a closer. They're able to say, I'm sorry, I can't stay and no, and then they leave, okay? They are able to find a proven full-time closer. Like for example, when I first started closing, I was very fortunate. My first two influencers that I closed for them one year each on average, Carl and Mark, these two guys have been closing for a few years. They were ahead of me in legit remote high ticket closing experience and that's why they could guide me. They train me, they listen to my calls, they review my work and then they tell me what to stop doing, what to improve and bit by bit, step by step, my understanding improved, my clarity improved and that's how I got my substance. That's how I learned how to book calls daily and close. So once you advance through this process because your fundamentals are strong okay in a month now i'm not gonna bs you and say every month you're gonna make a consistent amount okay the reality is some months are gonna be really good some months you might hit a slump some months it could be average okay but i want you to look at the whole year if you take the earnings from the entire year and you divide by the amount of days that you work if in a day let's say for example 20 working days in a month each day you average out, you collect $500. In a month, that's 10K. In a year, that's six figures. Even if you half that amount, it's still 5K a month. You half it again, it's still 2,005 a month. You half it again, it's still 1,250 a month. Okay, and what can you do with all this extra money that comes from your attitude of excellence? 
is this a better strategy or is this a better strategy you tell me so i've already covered the balanced time blocks right i've already covered the different types of income producing activities and yes sleep is one of them because it directly affects your performance right booking sales calls or booking interviews same thing closing calls or role plays same thing okay branding audience growth relationship building family time me time i've already addressed this right what that means is if you haven't already done so your google calendar should be already established if it's not done please pause this video and go back to the previous module, open up your Google Calendar and input all your income producing activities. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, just put some placeholders in there and then once you have more, you will have more clarity and then over time, you will keep ref refining your Google Calendar. Okay. What I want you to add now, okay, for action steps, okay. Action steps I like to highlight in red. I want you to go to the Google Calendar and for each activity when you click, okay, you can expand the description, right? Like uh, in your Google Calendar, when you click on these individual cells, you'll be able to input your description, right? So under the description section, I want you to add the specific targets and the specific numbers or KPIs or whatever you want to call it from the previous module when we talk about your monthly income goal. That's a number I want to see. Okay, put it somewhere like some of the cells at the up top, you can put like a full day event. Maybe that's where you want to hit your input your main number okay but i gotta see your monthly income goal okay somewhere i gotta see your target when you are booking the interviews because this is your balance time block right if your goal is to book an interview how many what is the target for that one day or that one session okay this one is okay. So just keep it on your back end. Okay, this one just keep it on your back end. If one of your activities says, okay, here I got to book calls. Well, how many calls? In this sitting, in this session, this is a time block for you to book calls. How many calls you want to get booked? One, two, three, five. Based on your number, okay, put it into your description. How many deals are you going to close a day? That number, put it in your Google Calendar as well. Like this is a sales call. I can I can put it in here, okay? Closing ratio, 10%. Closing ratio, 20%. Okay, put your number inside. So that right now, we not only have your full schedule, we not only have your full numbers, but we have them in one consolidated place which means that one look in the entire week there's no more guesswork there's full predictability we know exactly where we are going it's extremely achievable and now the only thing left to do is to improve the quality of the performance for each cell now do you see the big picture of why I created all these things? It's simple but effective and practical, right? So re remember why must it be Google Calendar? Because your Zoom, your Gmail, your phone, okay? It's all synced and all connected to your Google Calendar, right? Notifications, the links, okay, whatever, everything, it's consolidated and it works perfect for closes. Okay, and an even deeper reason is now all the energy, your clarity, your numbers, your direction. It's all clear now. It's all in one place. And one click, one look, you know what your future is. You know what your present is. Okay, which means that for every day, okay, the different time blocks, 
the time blocks for what to do when you want to advance your brand, to build your brand assets, to create content. What is the time block per day, per week for you to invest the hours into your audience growth, to connect with business owners, to connect with your ideal clients? The number of hours to get either calls booked okay, or to source for interviews it must go into your Google Calendar. Obviously, now I'm not sourcing for interviews. Okay, but if I did, okay, it would be something like, oh, 9 to 11 a.m. Okay, I have to go and prospect for potential influencers, right? Or if I'm booking calls, okay, uh, 3 to 5 p.m., okay, I got to uh, prospect and get calls booked. Okay, and when I book calls, okay, my target is to close one in three, right? One in three or one in three. So all these are your income producing activities. Focus on this. Don't go and do all these things. Okay, Focus on all these things. And then once it's in your Google Calendar, once the numbers are clear, now we have a winning strategy. Now we have order. Now we have clarity. Now we have certainty. If we have this, would we still think like an employee? Is this, is being in a job safer or is this safer? Okay, you decide. Action steps for this module. Okay, go into our Facebook group as usual, SeanSena.live and make a post. By now, we should have your full strategy. Okay, all your numbers all your schedule for a week. Okay, use a week as a recurring unit of resource. Okay, they should all be established. You should also know by now what is your why. Why this role gives you confidence. Why this role gives you meaning. Why this role gives you purpose. Why this role is aligned with your success. Why is it aligned with your future? And once this too is crystal clear in your mind, there should be no more guesswork. Now there's no more guesswork regarding your definite future. Okay? It is your present already. From the moment you sat down to build this, to build this, you're already in the present. Your future has already happened. It's already happening. Okay, so share. Share a screenshot of your Google Calendar, okay, one week, okay, with the targets and KPIs for each block. I should see the activity and the number, okay? And because I know it's not so easy to capture all this in one screenshot, okay? Go ahead and use a video like this, okay? There's a lot of software, free software that you can use to record your screen. And just record a short video like this, you know, maybe two or three minutes will do. And just walk us through your calendar, what is your plan, what are your numbers, and then post that video. Okay, don't overthink it, don't over prepare, just start and use the hashtag strategic closer. Okay, if you make some mistakes, if it's not good enough, I'll just give you some pointers, then you just refine it as you go. But I want you to get started right away. Okay, and post and sign off with the hashtag strategic closer. Do it now. Okay. Now you know why my students, like Coley for example, she sat down with me and she planned. Okay, to leave her 9 to 5 because she was not okay with her 9 to 5. And not only was she not okay with her 9 to 5, when she sat down to plan her vision with me, she was based in Hong Kong at the time. And her goal was to make enough money so that she can not only cover all her bills, but she can migrate, okay, migrate to Australia and stay there. That was her goal. And it was a big goal. And I asked her, well, how much money you need to achieve that? She said, 35000 Now, we didn't achieve the full thing. We only hit like 22 k of that. But how would you like to make 22 k in that few months that you work with me? What would that do for your life? How would you reinvest this money? How would you take care of your family and protect your loved ones with this extra money that came from your attitude of excellence. So when she's closing left and right, okay, some people will think, oh, it's luck, you know, she's lucky, she's good. No, okay, she followed 
the same exact process to build that attitude of excellence. This lady is even more incredible, Elaine, okay, because her English is actually not very good and she has two children that she has to take care of. So she is a stay-at-home mom. She needs her work to be remote. And despite having to take care of two kids, despite having to take care of her family, despite them not understanding her, despite her poor command of English, she's able to achieve similar results as Koli and she's consistently receiving cash throughout the months. Okay, and in total, since she worked with me, okay, we built her trackers, we built her strategy, we built her numbers, we built her calendar, we built her Excel sheet. Okay, at the point of this recording, okay, I think we should probably update this, but she has crossed 23K in USD co collected as commissions. And you know why they're able to be this consistent? You know why they're able to be this rejuvenated? It's because they know their why, they have found themselves, they have found their voice, they have found their confidence, they know themselves. Do you know your why? Do you have your clarity? Do you have your head in the right place? Have you adulted? And are you ready to win? Okay, show it with your actions. Make a post. Okay, show all your work. If you're not sure what to do, just ask. Okay? Ask in the group, ask me. Okay? But don't overthink this, don't procrastinate. Once this video ends, immediately get to work. And I'll see you in the next module.